Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys all of the makeup products I use when I'm getting ready and also answering your questions that you asked on Instagram. I've had so many questions recently about the products that I use and like what my favourite products are for 2021. So I thought I'd just include them in this video. They've gone for like an everyday glowy no foundation makeup look which is literally what I wear every single day. I've hooked you up with my favourite lashes as well. I get so many questions about my lashes and... I'm going to tell you about them too. I have linked all the products down below in case you guys want to go and shop any of it because I get so many questions about what I use so the links are all down there for you but I'm going to get straight into the video so if you do enjoy give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below for more and yeah let's get started. The first thing I always start with is moisturiser because my skin is so dry it's actually painful. I do stuff well I think it's eye eczema I don't really know what's going on but the doctors don't really help but anyway my eyes are really dry and sore like every time I put makeup on they just get worse and it's a little bit sore here. So I'm kind of dreading putting makeup on today, but I'm just going to drown it in moisturiser. And I use the Aveeno Dermex uh, Cream. So this is what I've been using. And I feel like it just actually really moisturise your face. I never used to be a fan of Aveeno, but over the last like couple of months when my eyes have been really sore, I feel like this is the only thing that actually moisturises them. My eyebrows literally look like they've been laminated now. <laughs> so I still don't wear foundation. I've not got back onto it yet. I still feel like it doesn't sit right on my skin. And the fact that my eyes are like quite fragile, let's say fragile. I try to put like as little product on them as possible so to try and avoid like using foundations and anything heavy so i'll just go straight in with concealer and this is the elf hydrating camo concealer i do do a matte version of this but the matte one's obviously no good for my skin so this is like the satin hydrating version and this is in the shade light beige and i literally just use this where my bags are my under eye bag is so dark it's actually depressing i'm using a new sponge now i actually don't know what this sponge is it's just been like out the box for ages it's actually really soft look at this I feel like there's nothing better than using a new sponge. My other one is literally dusty. Right, should we get on to the questions? I feel like this is more about the questions than the actual makeup. Like, you guys wanted to see an updated makeup routine, so I'm going to give it to you, like, tell you what products I use and stuff, but I'm not going to go into that detail. Like, it's not a tutorial. Do you get what I mean? I'm going to make it a little bit more fun and answer all the questions that you guys asked me yesterday. By the way, thank you so much if you asked a question. I've had so many questions on that story. I feel like it's probably the most questions I've ever had. I did answer a couple, but then I thought... A lot of you were asking what like my makeup routine was. So I thought I'd just like turn it into a makeup routine slash Q&A. So I want to start with the one that a lot of people ask and is what do you want to achieve in 2022? So I do have a few like big plans for 2022 but it's not something I can like really talk about yet. Because I feel like if you speak about something too soon it gets jinxed and it doesn't happen so I don't really want that to happen. Yeah I've got a couple of big goals but anything like smaller ones I don't really know. I'm more of like a take each day as it comes kind of person so i'm just gonna cream contour with the primark foundation and contour stick in the shade chai this is literally about two pound fifty or three pound it's literally the best i'm nearly ran out of this one but i do have a spare one it's just like the perfect warm brown sort of contour shade but some more like generic sort of goals i really want to go to two countries at some point this year and one of them i want it to be new york at christmas time that is like a massive goal of mine next year i don't know if this sponge is good or awful i don't know why i tried a new sponge no I think it's literally just made it all patchy fuck right we're gonna try and rub off and start again All right, let's try that again but yeah I really went into two countries and I really want one to be New York at Christmas that is literally a dream I feel like it's everybody's goal to go to New York at Christmas so hopefully next year will be the year that I can go to New York I want to go like just before Christmas so it's like after the tree's gone up go ice skating in Central Park and just see all the Christmas lights I just think who doesn't want to go to New York at Christmas? And I've bought myself a new diary so I can like really plan out everything that I'm doing. And one of my goals is to actually stick to using the diary because I started using my 2021 one last year. And when I was organised every single week, I felt like you could tell and it was paying off. Like I was gaining more subscribers. My content was just better. I was less stressed because I didn't have to plan things last minute. So my goal this year is to use my diary every single day. I have set myself like goals for like numbers that I want to hit sort of like subscriber instagram tiktok wise i don't really feel like i need to share that but just yeah i've set myself goals that I've, i would like to reach but obviously if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen 2022 guys it's gonna be a good year it's gonna be a good year and i can't wait to show you all like what's happening and why it's gonna be a good year well that's probably the worst answer ever for 2022 plans but just wait and see i would usually like take the concealer over my eyelids as well but i think because that's red i'm just gonna leave it today I don't want to irritate it anymore. So the next question is, I had so many questions about my hair as well. How do you maintain your hair colour? What hair 
colour do you use, blah, 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 blah. I'm just putting some concealer where there's no product so it doesn't look a bit odd. So a lot of people have messaged me saying that they're blonde and they use purple shampoo and they just feel like it doesn't last. I don't know if I've just been like blessed with a certain type of hair. I literally just use purple shampoo and it stays silver. It doesn't ever really fade to blonde. Sometimes the roots go a little bit like, I feel like they are now, the roots go a little bit like brassy, but that's just because I need to basically leave purple shampoo on there for longer. Yeah, I literally just use the Olaplex, the normal Olaplex shampoo and conditioner when I wash my hair. I literally wash my hair once a week. And a lot of people ask me what colour I dye my hair and I actually don't know. Oak's mum is a professional hairdresser, so she literally just does whatever concoction she makes, puts it on and it goes this colour. Like, I don't really know what it is. It just comes in, like, them salon tubes. Like, it's not one that you can buy from, like, Superdrug or anything like that. It's just, like, the proper tubes of hairdresser colour. So, I would say, if you are a blonde and you use purple shampoo to try and make it ashy, just wash your hair as little as you can. And then when you do wash your hair, when you put your purple shampoo in, just leave it in for a good five minutes. The purple shampoo I use, I used to use the L'Oreal LV for one. It's literally about £3. Now. I think that's really good. And then I wanted to try out the Olaplex one. And I have got it, but I'm not going to lie. I don't... I don't not like it because it's good, but I don't think it's really much better than the £3 L'Oreal Alvive one. Because I use the normal Olaplex shampoo and conditioner, I feel like the purple one... I can just use like the cheap purple one and it does the same thing. I only use the purple one to tone, so... So I'm moving on to cream blush, and this is not something that I used to use, but Shan got me this for Christmas. And ever since, this has been literally my favourite product ever. It's the NARS Orgasm Blush, but in the liquid form. And, I'm actually obsessed with this. A little bit really does go a long way, but look at the colour of this, wait. How unreal is that? It's like a peachy sort of pink colour. I just take it on like a little flap. Oh my god, I thought I dropped it on the floor, then my heart literally dropped, but it was just the box. So yeah, I just take it on like a little flat brush like this. I think you're supposed to buy a pump, but I literally just dab a couple of dots on like that, and then pop it on like the highest points, my cheeks, and then I also take it onto my forehead as well, and on my nose. Oh my god, I literally love this. I feel like it takes you from looking dead to alive. <laughs> it just gives you that, like, sun-kissed glow as if you've just been on holiday. It looks like I've got some on my eyelid, but I actually haven't. Like, it's just my eyes being annoying. I look like I've got sunburn, but in, like, a cute way. <laughs> oh my god, I'm obsessed. I could literally not wear makeup and just put this on, and I think that would be so nice. I am obsessed. Oh my god, look at that. Look at the glow. I love that product. If you are going to get anything from this video, guys, get this. I just like to, like carve that bit out for a little bit and then literally just take the powder and dab it everywhere else this is the laura mercier powder as well by the way now i'm going to use mac give me sun i never used to write this but i feel like the more that i use it the more that i love it it's like a really warm brown bronzer i'm so like bronze everywhere and answer the next question which is your best slash favorite tv series i've been saying for like ages if you've not watched dexter you need to watch dexter it's basically about this man who works in the FBI is like a blood spatter anal analysis. Analyst? I'm not really sure. But yeah, basically he works as part of the FBI, but he kills people at the same time. Like, he's a serial killer, but works for the FBI and he obviously hasn't got caught. And it is the best series I've ever watched, like the old ones. I'm not sure where you can watch it. I feel like you can watch it maybe on Amazon Prime. They've just brought out a new series, like the, the same, but like carried on so you do kind of need to watch the old ones to understand what's going on in the new ones i have got oak watching the new ones with me it's called dexter new blood it's basically like his life carried on from where it left i don't want to ruin it because i feel like you all need to go and watch it but basically he stopped killing for a while and now he's back on it so yeah i feel like you need to go watch that dexter and dexter new blood oh my god best seasons series i've ever watched but all-time favorite dexter dexter new blood and line of duty i've had this crusty makeup palette for literally years now um, but I'm still going to use it because it wasn't cheap and there's still a lot left. I literally just take this like dark brown eyeshadow on an angled brush and do basically like an eyeliner wing. So I've had a lot of questions about my chin filler. So if you didn't know, I've had chin filler. Um, I did vlog it, so I will leave the vlog. If I can work out how to put it on one of these things, I'll put it up here. But if not, I'll link it down below. So yeah, I got chin filler maybe like three weeks ago now. I'm not going to lie, it's literally the best decision i've ever made everyone was asking like how much did you have blah 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 and i don't actually know the answer to that question i don't know how much she put in there like it was just sort of she put in whatever she thought was needed and i feel like was the perfect amount a cute little chin but i honestly don't know how much is in there i don't think it was a lot i don't want to like promote chin filler or anything like that like i'm not saying you need to go and get chin filler but i did get a lot of questions about it so i thought i would answer that one how did i almost forget to put blush on i feel like even on its own that liquid blush 
so cute but i'm gonna double nars orgasm it up so it got me this for christmas but this is the nars orgasm x so i think it's more of like a darker pink than the normal nars orgasm this is what it looks like how pretty it's like a peachy sort of color it's got a lot of glow in it as well so you don't need highlighter not that i even wear highlighter anymore but yeah this gives you a nice glow and you only need literally the tiniest bit like that's one tap mm, have i taken it too far with the blush potentially i am just going to set my face now with the urban decay all nighter setting spray before i do anything on mascara because i did that before i did my makeup sprayed this and they all mascara around my eyes so don't want to do that again but i literally drown myself in this i've had a few people ask what is your job where do you work what's your current job and basically i work in a bank and i hate it everyone at work knows i hate it and they all know i can't wait to leave so i do work full-time in a bank but this month hopefully anyway because it's just taking a long time to sort out i'm gonna be going part-time at work which i'm so excited for because i have so much more time to like put more effort into my content instagram tiktok and youtube i'm gonna have so much more time to film more like fun and in-depth videos rather than just like rushing things because i've got nothing to post yeah that's a really exciting thing that's happening hopefully this month surely it should be this month we'll see so yeah i'm gonna have so much more time to put into my content so let me know if there's anything you want to see and i can definitely do it because i'm gonna have so much more time yeah currently i work full-time in a bank and it's just not it's just not for me and then another one that was really popular was how did you get the courage to start social media i would love to be like you on social media but s starting and having people judge you stopping me any tips on how to grow your instagram tips on starting out as an influencer tips for growing a following so i've had loads like that i don't see myself as an influencer in any way i just see myself as like well i was not say 22 but i'm 23 oh i'm 23 i just see myself as 23 year old me sitting filming things that i love like fashion makeup lifestyle i love doing my vlogs the fact that i can like look back on all the things that i've done like i go back and watch my dubai vlogs i was watching them my old just like spend the day with me vlogs from like two years ago and it's just so nice to be able to just watch them back but i know how scary it is i literally shit my pants when i uploaded my first video it took me i think i wanted to upload one in the march i mean it's 2018 but i was too scared so i left it till 2019 like i left it that long before i posted a video but once you've got that first like video or first tiktok out of the way it's going to be so much more natural to you and you're going to be so much more confident in posting and i've honestly not really had i don't think i've had one bad comment from anyone about me starting doing this they've all been positive everyone's so supportive and i think you'll be surprised i feel like it's more just in your head like no one's going to judge no one really cares like, i feel like if you're in school it's a bit different because you will get like grief and not like, wound up by like the immature people that are in your year but yeah i started when i was nine 19 no, I started when I was 20. Here I am, I'm here now, and I'm happy that I'm doing it. It's literally the best thing I've ever done. I get to work with my favourite brand, which I never thought would be a thing that I would ever do. I'm like a Boohoo ambassador. I've been invited to events. I've met like loads of people that I've looked up to for years. It's just actually mad. So if you are thinking about doing this, I'd 100% recommend doing it. If you ever need like any advice or anything like that, just drop me a message on Instagram and I'll be happy to help because I feel like there's space for everyone on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. Like, I feel like it's something everyone says, but consistency is key. You need to be uploading like three times a week if possible, two, three times a week. It's on Instagram if you want to get noticed by the brands, tag the brands, use hashtags. Hashtags is a good way to grow as well. If it's something you want to start doing, then you just have to put your all into it basically. And don't do it half-heartedly because you think, what are other people going to say? Fuck what other people think. I'm sure once you do start to grow a following or whatever, then the people that were taking the piss out before it will soon want to be your friends and you'll be like, no. Another question was, what do you do with your brows? So I literally don't do anything with my brows like... I do when I like do them, but I don't get them waxed, I don't get them threaded, I don't get them done basically. I kind of want to because I feel like this bit's a little bit messy. But I do just love like a fluffy, messy eyebrow. I thought my eyebrows are quite thick. So what I use is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 4. Add a little bit here because I feel like there's no hair there. And it's kind of just like rough from there. Just like drawing little fake hairs. And then again at the front, just draw some fake little hairlines. Yeah, I do really need to like get rid of all these hairs here, but I'm too lazy for that. This eyebrow always looks better than this one. Kind of annoying. Then after that, I just use a clear brow gel, and this is the Refi. I think it's called the Brow Sculpt. And but it literally just looks like this. And then it's a, well, I was going to say clear. It used to be clear, but now it's like a little bit brown from my eyebrows. And I literally just drag that through my eyebrows, spark them up a bit. And I feel like this is the only actual like gel that genuinely just stays there the next question is best advice to find your style i feel like one good way to find your style is by following people on instagram that you like 
love the way that they dress sort of thing. I don't really have like one specific person, um, but I do follow like quite a few people. I think they dress it like Mary Bedford is probably number one. I think she dresses so sick. Madison Sarah as well. But it doesn't have to be that you take inspo off people. Like if you see something, say you're shopping on Boohoo and you see like a t-shirt that you think, wow, that's sick. You can take the t-shirt and then build an outfit around it. It's kind of like you don't just have to have one style. I definitely don't have one style. Like I can dress in like a baggy tracksuit one day and then jeans on top the other day. It just depends on like what you're feeling that day. You don't just have to stick to one theme. You can literally wear whatever you want. I feel like that's the easiest way to do it. Rather than just like dedicate yourself to one certain style. All those different things. My camera's gonna die. Be right back. I'm gonna lie, I might have just had a little McDonald's break. I'll add some cheese bites and some chicken nuggets. Um, but we're back and we're gonna finish the makeup now. One of my most probably asked questions is what lashes do you wear? Because they literally look like I've had my lashes done and they are strip lashes. So the lashes that I wear every single time I go anywhere, I literally don't use any of the lashes, are the Dose of Lashes in the style Baddies. So this is like the packaging. And then this is what they look like. They literally look like eyelash extensions. Um, but without the annoyance of having them on your eyes 24 7 and they are honestly my favorite lashes ever so that is a fresh pair but i'm not gonna use a fresh pair today because i want to save them before i'm actually going somewhere so i'm gonna pop those ones back in here but i do have another pair here i've literally used these probably about easily 10 times and they still look perfect I've just stuck on one of the lashes and i wanted to show you guys the difference look at the difference of this. Do they not look like eyelash extensions? Do they not look like I've just paid £50 for them? They're actually just the best eyelashes I've ever used and I am obsessed. Those of lashes have killed it with these. Lashes are on and the final step which is also going to be the final question because I've had so many questions about my lip combo. It's usually Morphe Sweet Tea but annoyingly I can't find it. So I'm going to do the exact same lip combo that I always do just with a different lip liner because it isn't usually Morphe Sweet Tea but I can't find it. I've got sugar pie here from Morphe which is basically like the exact same thing. I don't overline too much either. I still keep like these bits exactly the same as what they are. The only bit of really overline is like the Cupid's bow. I really do feel like nothing beats sweet tea, but I just can't find it. So we're going to have to go with that, which is kind of sad. And then I just take any concealer. I'm just going to use this one from collection that I've got here. Just dab a little bit like that. You can just like blend that out with your finger, but I'm just going to use like a little flat brush. And just dab it all in and like blend it together with the lip liner. And then when you're left with something like this, I just take like any lip gloss really. So I'm going to use the Fenty Gloss Balm. It's the universal one, this one. So it's like the little... God, well, this is nearly all gone. Um, but I do like this one. I just go over the top because I'm not about the matte life. This is literally all gone. <laughs> no. And that is pretty much it for my every, not everyday makeup routine because I don't wear makeup every day. But if I am putting makeup on, this is pretty much what I'll do every single time. Sometimes I don't put lashes on, but if I'm getting like content or filming or whatever, then I do definitely put lashes on. But this is what it looks like. So it's kind of like a glowy, no foundation sort of vibe and i'm obsessed with it that is it that is the makeup routine done that is what you guys wanted to know you wanted to you know all the products that i use so there you go i hope that helped all the products are linked down below in case you guys want to go get any of it i'm just obsessed i feel like this is just my go-to everyday look and it's so lightweight because there's no foundation on there it's just so lightweight so glowy i'm perfect for any occasion really like, i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here so thank you so much for watching thank you for asking any questions on instagram if you did i'll leave my instagram on the screen here now so if you want to be involved in the next one Go follow me over there and I will be asking questions on my story again. I'm going to end this video here. So if you did enjoy, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below for more. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video.